So the story uh, is about a serial murder investigation, and it reveals the existence of that serial murder investigation in uh, a county south of Ottawa, Stormont, Dundas, and Glengarry. And um, it's the first time that, that our readers have come to understand that this uh, murder investigation is ongoing on a full-time basis and is also looking at uh, a whole series of unsolved arsons in the same area. It started as a story about uh, the 10th anniversary of the murder of Randy Rankin. The Rankin murder interested me because he was a, a children's clown and he was a racetrack gadfly and he was just a very interesting character. And I, and I went to see his widow, um, who was a lovely woman but really blunt, and she told me in no uncertain terms that I, I didn't know what I was talking about and that I was an idiot. And, um, and that I really shouldn't bother. And so I went to the OPP officer who was investigating the case and, and he told me something similar, basically that I needed to do more research. I came to understand that the Rankin murder had been linked by the police to a, uh, a body that had been uncovered in 2014 on the same road, same rural road, where Rankin had been killed. And in fact, that, that those two murders had been linked to a series of other cold cases um, in the same area, in the same small rural town uh, that had remained unsolved. Right now, police have linked five murders. And the most recent one uh, involved um, a farmer named Raymond Collison. And his body was discovered in a Moorwood ditch, uh, badly decomposed in 2014. And police won't say w how he died, but they're saying that his murder was definitively linked to the 2007 murder of Randy Rankin. Now, you have to presume that they have some kind of ballistic evidence that would link him to Rankin. Uh, because a lot of these murders were macabre. Uh, another man, uh, decades earlier, uh, John King, was killed in his own home in Moorwood, and his home was burned down. And police have linked that murder to uh, Rankin and Collison. Another man, Wallace Johnson, was shot through the window of his living room uh, in a town called Avonmore. So four years earlier, in uh, November of 1983, another farmer named Harold Davidson was again shot through a window, this time three times as he sat at his kitchen table and killed. There is no closure, and I think that's the hard thing for people in that area, is that, you know, this has been a mystery, you know, a very painful mystery for, for the better part of three decades.